dear viewers assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss that how we can determine type of enzyme inhibition through graph pad prism and also we will discuss that how we can find out the inhibition constant value ki by using this graph pad prism but before this i would like to explain some basic concepts and type of enzyme inhibitions so if we look at the enzyme inhibitors we have so enzyme inhibitor reduces the enzyme activity these are reversible and irreversible reversible inhibitor the activity can be reversed by removing the inhibitor whereas in irreversible inhibitor the Activity of enzyme is permanently reduced by covalent modification of the enzyme. Type of reversible inhibitions are competitive inhibition, non-competitive inhibition, uncompetitive inhibition and mixed inhibition. Normal enzyme reaction occurs when enzyme binds with the substrate and it makes enzyme substrate complex and then it is converted into enzyme product and then product is released from the enzyme in case of competitive inhibition inhibitor binds active site of the enzyme is sub if substrate is not already bound so it means that the inhibitor competes with the substrate and in this case if we look at the line we were work double reciprocal plot we will get on x-axis the inverse of substrate concentration and on y-axis inverse of the Mm, maximum velocity or rate of the reaction and in this case we get this on the conversion convergence of these lines which gives that the uh, vmax on y-axis and am values on the x-axis so we will discuss these in detail in non-competitive type of inhibition Inhibitor binds enzyme substrate complex or without enzyme substrate complex. It is independent of the substrate concentration. And in this case, Km remains unchanged, whereas Vmax decreases or Vmax is changed as the inhibitor concentration is going to increase. So these lines will merge at the x axis at some point so in case of uncompetitive inhibition inhibitor binds with the enzyme which is already bound with the substrate so the substrate concentration is important for inhibition and in this case both vmax and km both will be changed and the lines pattern will be a straight line so all these lines will be parallel to each other and this blue line represents control line in line we were work plot in case of mixed inhibition it is the mixture of competitive and uncompetitive inhibition inhibitor binds other than active site of the enzyme and binds either already bound substrate or without substrate so sometime it is considered as special case of non-competitive inhibition here we represent that we produced graph from I, uh, graph pad prism so we will discuss these type of graphs that how we can make these graph uh, one by one so today we will discuss that how we can make uh, this type of graph or mm, through, through graph pad prism which is of competitive inhibition and then we will discuss non-competitive inhibition in our next videos and then uncompetitive inhibition and mixed inhibition so in case of mixed inhibition uh, all these points will merge in between the x and y axis somewhere here inhibition constant is important inhibitor concentration required it is the inhibitor concentration required to produce half of the indicates the potency of inhibitor and lesser the value of ki inhibition constant more potent, potent will be the inhibitor <coughs> now we discuss that how we perform kinetic studies so for kinetic studies we have 
different substrate concentrations and for each substrate concentration we use different inhibitor concentration for our five inhibitor concentrations we make in different dilutions so for each substrate concentration we check our uh, readings are values for inhibitor concentrations so therefore in this way we get inhibitor activity of our enzyme according to different substrate concentrations and inhibitor concentrations now we are going to represent that how we obtain data after this substrate different substrate and inhibitor concentrations we get a data like this so here we have different substrate concentrations like here it is 0.7 millimolar 0.35 and in this way and uh, here is the control which means that we have zero inhibitor concentration here the inhibitor concentration is zero so it is the positive control here we have 0.125 millimolar inhibitor concentration and for each substrate concentration we have different value that we obtained through uh, different instrument we can use we use spectramax m2 analyzer for these values are the uh, to measure these values and uh, then inhibitor concentration 2 which is uh, 0.25 and uh, then it is here 0 0.5 millimolar inhibitor concentration 3 and we get such kind of data for uh, line weaver bark plot or double reciprocal plot we need these values in this form in this format for so for substrate we need one hour substrate concentration so here we have taken one hour s of these values and then this is the one hour v of our control <coughs> and one hour v for our inhibitors so in this way we will get our these values by reverse or reciprocal of these value we we will get this kind of table so after this now we are moving towards our graph pad prism so here we put our data so in this way this is our one hour s substrate concentration on the x-axis and uh, here we have one hour v value for uh, control or the uh, without inhibitor and then here we have the inhibitor 1 hour V for 0. Here the inhibitor concentration is 0. 0.125 millimolar. Like here I am 0. 0.125 millimolar and here the inhibitor. are the values and after this we will go to analyze and then analyze data we will go to simple linear regression for this and here so we are going to analyze this table again creating a new result we have already made a table but uh, i am going to again making it so here we will make it like this and uh, here we will select that force the line go through x and y and uh, here we will make values like here x axis on minus 2 and uh, so it is here it is auto or you can also select that well and uh, then ok now we get our graph here so this is our graph now we have this is our graph it represents that our lines are uh, converged at almost These are the different concentrations for our compound and uh, we get this table 
After this, we can make changes in our graph. This graph represents that this is the competitive type of inhibition. So we can write here that it is the competitive type of inhibition. And also we can change the color. So we can make color changes or from here we can take the colors. Like here, I'm going to take this type here that uh, on the x-axis, what is our values and on the y-axis, we can also make changes on the y-axis. Similarly, we can also make this type of ticks that uh, that is starting from minus 2 to 12. We can change from here or uh, it can automatically determine and here we can take this major tick interval 1 or 2 or something so we can change from here and apply similarly we can changes so we can uh, write here by your own and we can make changes if we want to make here so in this way we get that uh, it is our competitive type of inhibition and now we are going to discuss that how we can mm, calculate the ki value or inhibition constant value so for this <coughs> we will uh, make a table like this in uh, again on graph pad prism so now this time we will take the substrate concentrations we will not take inverse of substrate concentration but we will take uh, as such substrate concentrations here we have written in millimolar up to 0, 0.00 and then this is our inhibitor concentration without without any inhibitor so it is our control values and here we have 0 0.125 millimolar inhibitor concentration values for each substrate and then at 0 0.25 millimolar we have these values on for each substrate concentration and then 0 0.5 millimolar after making this table we will go to analyze and then regression and curves and we will go to nonlinear regression and uh, after this we will go to enzyme inhibition enzyme kinetics inhibition and, uh, and now we know that we have our competitive type of inhibition from line weaver burke plot so we can take this competitive inhibition and here we get <coughs> inhibition constant value ki which is 0 .3, 0 0.030 millimolar so the concentration will be the same as we used in our table so in this way we get our data and uh, vmax and km values and this is our graph but this is our control and these are our inhibitor concentrations values so this is our on x-axis it is substrate value and on y-axis these are the inhibitor concentrations so in this way we get our AI value that is inhibition constant we can also uh, observe km value uh, which is my callus constant or vmax value from this data so thanks for watching my video in our next video we will discuss non-competitive type of inhibition and uh, what are the different parameters and inhibition constant value we can find out and then we will also discuss uncompetitive type of inhibition so thanks for watching my video